we have a baby head who oversees everybody. Uh, this is for to vent frustration when, when clients make last minute changes. Uh, then I would use this to smash like that. A few times of this, then I'll be very tired already. Too tired to be angry. Hi, I'm Eugene. I'm a tech artist and I run two companies. One is Dude and one is Mind Palace. So Mind Palace is more of a non-profit. I guess why I became an artist is, is somewhat of an accident when I shot this uh, photo of a Singapore version of The Last Supper. I shot this when I was in year one in NTU Art Design Media. I shot that Last Supper picture as like a symbol of like a grand last photo or so for myself before I went into programming. So it was published in a magazine, great, fantastic. Then nobody cared about it. I didn't care about it for two years. Then when I was year three, um, it went viral on Facebook. Then it was just exhibition after exhibition, project after project, and me trying to run away from this photographer title, which I didn't like. Because the media was 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 saying, oh, Eugene, so the photographer, but no, I am not. I'm a, I do like, programming and stuff. When COVID happened, I was expecting the worst. I expected the projects, the commercial projects to die down. And I was looking forward to doing more personal projects, more time for personal projects, but it actually increased. There were more commercial and art projects. For example, the one that is coming up in January, it is a physical art exhibition but because of COVID, they needed to, to convert it into a digital one on the web. So who did they go to to do that? It is us, dude. Uh, dude. So we are working on that project. So that's one of the projects that because of COVID that we got. Yeah, and then this is the biggest. Ta-da, then the crow came and said that. So this is an example of a personal project that is just, just do, that really came out of nowhere. At the start, we, we work from home. No? All the staff uh, work from home. Uh, this office is kind of my home, so I'm like the only one in the office. So. Yeah, it was a bit weird like, that to be like on the only one here 24 hours. This wig here, I have reasons for it. Um, recently, Instagram had a hair segmentation feature. So, because I don't have hair, so when, when I use it, I just look like some how I've been with the with colored. Oh, I can show you on the phone. I just look like this. So to, and then the main the main audience who uses uh colored hair filters are those with long hair so I wanted to check it out. I wanted to test it so I would put on the wig and test it out on myself. Oh these are my my uh, photos from my past life. You see here the, the year it was made is in 2015. So this QR code here is also uh, an AR thing commissioned by Singapore Tourism Board two years ago. And then when people scan this QR code and then they point at the, the works, the works will start to come to life. Like a Harry Potter portrait. They will start to see the, everything in 3D, the, the characters are moving. And this is my, this is my office. This is my office, this is my workstation where I'll be working. So as a tech artist, right, I, I do a lot of fun stuff. Uh, it seems very nice, but then Look at all this. This is the worst part about running a company. It's like all the paperwork and all the compliance stuff. And like every month you got to like do all the CPF nonsense, paying salaries and everything. Wow, that is really not fun to do. But it's a necessary thing. I, yeah, I really don't like doing it. This work was hanging at the National Museum at some point before. So my, my butt was hanging at the National Museum. Yep, yep, I can say that. Mm -hmm. I think one of my philosophies is to not hold projects too precious. Like for example, like if I thought VR was very good and then 
I couldn't solve the hygiene issue. I'll, I'll try to make it work with VR goggles, but being uh, technologically agnostic, I am okay with just dropping VR. But some of the bigger ones would probably be Mind Palace. Mind Palace, um, it started out with uh, VR goggles when I was already doing VR before that, but the kind of VR that I was doing was like a very nonsense kind. I made a VR game where you play as a dog, you uh, running around a HDB flat. And what do dogs leave behind? Instead of a light trail, I use dog shit. It's a multiplayer game, so like up to eight people. So if there's eight people in there, there will be eight dogs running around shitting everywhere. So the goal is to shit in front of the other dogs and uh, get the other dogs to eat your shit and then they explode. Yeah. So that was the kind of nonsense games that I was doing for, for virtual reality. But one of my friends, he knows that I do virtual reality. Then he said, hey, why don't you bring the virtual reality goggles to the nursing home? Uh, because uh, being inside a nursing home can be quite uh, dreary and maybe this can help uh, provide some escapism. Then I was like, huh, you want to let them play puppy poop run? Uh, then they were like, no, just use the headset. But we let them watch like YouTube 360 videos. So I made an app to watch 360 videos on loop. So you curate a series and then it will automatically play the next one. Or using the controller, you can just press one button, it'll go to the next one. And like very simple controls are so that you don't have, we don't have to teach the elderly to how to make, how to navigate the VR space. So that project blew out of proportion actually. I, it became its own thing. Then I set up, uh, had to set up another company to manage it. I think it's going to be more online stuff, more uh, for the arts specifically, because we might not be able to have physical exhibitions for a while. So there's going to be a lot more online stuff, uh, a lot more AR, VR, or whatever R that's going to come out in the future. Facebook, they had this uh, beta program for, for creating Instagram filters. So I was in the first ever batch, so I made the second Instagram filter in the custom Instagram filter in the whole world. Then recently they have named Dude uh, an official partner. This is uh, for the same thing. It comes as a welcome package. So they were being a bit cheeky and said and give us all this like Illuminati ring kind of thing. Like, oh, we're all part of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kiss, kiss this ring. 